welcome to the channel i'm out in this garden man it smells great out here all the wildflowers are going and the gardens are going let's take a look look at them radishes we got cilantro basil yes sir all this stuff's doing well but look at this mess now i gotta let that stuff grow i'm just gonna let this go nuts i can see some dill that should be one of them should be basil that should be basil there but i gotta let them get up to height maybe it's there i think that's it and weed out what don't belong because obviously i did not plant that much this one doing much better i see i got some hot peppers i got two varieties in here and this would be my bell peppers uh, obviously there's some weeds growing in there but we'll get them big but guys look how good these tomato plants are going i mean i don't think i've ever had a healthier bunch this early in the year i know man nice and dark and green in the middle of the afternoon this this becomes shady in here so that's helping now we haven't reached temperatures that's going to hurt them yet i do got the shade cloth that i'm going to string from there to some posts there maybe maybe something else who knows uh if i don't get rid of these puppies i'm gonna have to take that shade cloth and use it for them uh, they can go under the uh the roof there and, and get some good shade but we've got nice weather for the rest of the week and probably next week too so i'm going to take advantage of that going to get up here in a few minutes try to get this rail knocked out and hopefully the other one knocked out and uh, this is going to be a good week to get everything painted and hopefully wrap this thing up now i haven't done a lot the last couple days uh this kind of took a break but i am full of energy now i'm ready to go tackle it and that's what we're gonna do yeah i got new shades went to the post office today and there was a package in the mail and these sunglasses were in there and these are nice so didn't say who it's from subscriber sent them i appreciate it that helps me out there's just no not many places around here to buy sunglasses other than dollar general and those are junk these are good quality sunglasses so i do appreciate it they come in handy what are you doing, Miss Sir Tilly? This is her new spot because she knows I come in and out of here. She'll sit at this door and bark at me. Want me to come out. Yeah, Miss Tilly's over on that's her spot over in this corner over here. I saw her when I pulled in. Went and had my oil changed this morning. There's Miss Tilly. Or Miss Millie. I don't know, guys. I get their names mixed up. All right, I'm wasting time. Let me get up there, get the tools out, get to humming. get this one on I got plenty of lumber for this one then I got to repair down here do something with that before I move on to this rail so we're gonna just go ahead and get this one up and uh, let me get some measurements and then we'll be more than halfway there
Dokad, Dokad. Ready to start putting her together. Take seven. Man. This limited space trying to figure out where to put the camera. Crazy, man. All right. Now this section is three inches longer than the last section. Just is. So these are going to be spaced apart a little bit further. She ain't going to be able to. Get it in there. Yeah. Don't break your new sunglasses, man. Trying to be silly. Can't do that. Right, make sure I got two marks on here. I want to make sure I use the right one. Right, boards why are they way over there I'm over here why did I put the boards over there oh. man listen to them them cheaper 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 birds are going crazy What kind of mark is that? I gotta remark them all. Where's my pencil? How do I go from 14 to 12? Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Something just ain't adding up. Got that piece on there it's just one of them days where nothing's going right and i just stopped filming got it up there one issue i'm having is these poles are twisted uh they're not flat so you've got a, a piece up top that's going to be longer than the piece in the bottom and then you get it on there and it's all twisted but we got it on there now i'm gonna have to come back with some lag bolts because these these screws aren't sucking it in good enough uh did the same thing to me there they're just cheap now i'll get some lag bolts but i gotta find my sockets for the lag bolts they're in that shed man <sighs> all right i'm gonna take lunch come back and see what i can get done with that because i gotta take advantage of the weather it's it's humid but you know i got good cloud cover it's not that hot so anyway we got two of them up Look at that garden again, man. That one there is just going to town. I got blossoms on all of these, and when they were smaller, they had blossoms. I pinched them off. 
because you don't want to have tomatoes when they're that little but now they're at the size I can just start leaving them alone pretty cool and I did go ahead and plant I don't know if I said in the last video those two small black ones I went ahead and planted some wildflowers in there so that'll help attract the the bees or whatever but should be some more stuff coming up soon oh look at that mess and then I gotta deal with that jungle back there I'm gonna have to weed eat usually I weed eat all this three times in the summer I'll do it about the middle of May then I'll do it in July if it ain't too hot and then in October <laughs> last year all that went out the window it was so hot couldn't do any of it man it's just growing but they're saying it's going to be a mild summer I hope so man I'm ready for some good tomatoes and all that good stuff all right I'll be back all right it's the next day uh it was super frustrating yesterday but I did manage to get this second rail on I don't know where I left off on the clips got that on I ended up having to re-square some things up but it's good now what we're moving on to is this weird thing as you can see this is the the front wall uh, now this is a whole weird structure because it has the roof right underneath it you can see the roof probably through there that's to the screen patio so what I got to do now is take a saw cut all this even with the roof joist or the deck joist that's uh, right in there and I got to cut all these even I got to fill that in probably just going to cut a piece to, uh, piece of wood to fit in there caulk it and then I've got this eight inch eight inch uh, flashing that I will place over that and that and there should be just enough to bend it over slightly because we're going to have an awning there and uh, that will keep the water from coming in here because it's hollow in there so when it rains water's getting in there now that's treated wood it ain't hurting anything but I'd rather not have rain get in the screen patio so this is the last thing this is going to be the whole day I would say getting this and if I do have enough lumber left to get this rail on and then like I said right in here gonna have to have some kind of I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet here but that needs a kind of a little rail or something problem is that post and that post are not they're 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 even but this one is bowed outward so that is not going to line up when I put a rail. So I'm going to probably have to build this out. That's not hard to do. Maybe a piece of 2 by 6 there. Uh, should It should bring it out plenty good. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, these things were all twisted. And, you know, this one here, you can... I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's, it's not straight. It's twisted. But I can make them work. All right, let me get busy all right probably impossible for anybody to figure out what i'm doing here well, what i've done i took an eight inch piece of flashing and i brought it up to where this is going to come back like this once i set the other board on it now this is the last deck board i had as you can see it is extremely bowed so i'm going to have to screw it now i'm going to at the point where i got to get my board and my clamps and slowly work it back and then what's going to happen is there's going to be a larger uh, board across this. I, for the life of me, cannot remember why I cut those boards off so short. I should have overhang them. There was a reason, and I can't remember. I, th I know they were long enough. I just can't remember why. So now i got to pay the piper, do these crappy repairs. Uh, I'll get it done. It'll be waterproof. You won't be able to see it, but shouldn't have to do this. I didn't, you know, again, working in the heat. I was hurrying up things. Terrible. All right, let me get this finished. Okay. <coughs> we got all the rails on, except for that little section there, which I'll figure out what to do. Uh, this was so aggravating. I just shut the cameras off earlier today, went in, come back out here. I mean, you put these screws in, and then you try to go back and square something off the screws break off or they don't you can't use these twice trust me so 
got that one up we got that one up i've got flashing there it's lipped over the deck and then it's lipped over the building come over here and show you i'm going to build a bench here i may build benches all the way across probably not here i, want, I don't want to block the view build a big bench here so this will have another board coming there and we'll build up from that uh, all this wood i left sit out here for months it's all warped that's what i was working with man so aggravating so aggravating but we got them up now that on the end uh that's a victim of i had to add out to this this is all going to be covered and painted and I had to build this out it's terrible that's because this pole is so crooked that's how far it was out it wasn't like that when i said it so but this is gonna have where's my piece of board this is all gonna have a top on it okay so it's gonna be like that one by six this is a piece of decking board i'll probably go with a one by six then it's gonna have a piece on each side covering these seams and again on the bottom it'll have one doing the same it'll look nice it's a standard it's a, it's a standard deck framing the way they do that so it's gonna look good so that's all i got left to do is that and uh build the benches finish this get the top for this i just don't have i don't have the funds to get this right now that's why you know i, I was using this warped wood i had available I used up all the two by fours that I took off of Libby's uh, doghouse enclosure, and uh, it's all level, and it should work good. Uh, I'm gonna wait to cut this off till I get the tops that are going on here, because I want it all to be flat. It would actually look pretty good with piece sticking up like that, but we don't have that there, and that's a mess down there, and that's all gonna be hidden. <laughs> that whole wall's like that, man. Because that pole twisted on me big time. Uh, that's from sitting all summer when it wasn't all balled up yet. Alright, guys. I wasn't even going to use this video. It's two days worth. But everybody's out there going, are you okay? Are you okay? Hey, it's only been six days. I'll be all right. So I'll get this on there. Looking pretty dark. Why? There I am. <laughs> all right. So we'll get this on there. Uh, if the weather's nice tomorrow, I'm going to paint these railings black and do some caulking, some foaming. We're going to make it look good. All right, guys. Happy trails.